Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're with Callaway this afternoon in Orlando, Florida at the 2018 PGA Merchandise Show. We're talking with Dave Neville. Dave, good to see you. Good to see you, Chris. We're going to talk right now about rogue hybrids, fairway woods. I know you're excited because we've got jailbreak for the first time for you guys in a hybrid and a fairway wood. Yeah, so we had jailbreak in the Epic Driver last year, and everybody asked, when's it coming to, to the fairway? When's it coming to the hybrid? Well, the challenge was to be able to get it to, to fit and to work effectively in both the fairway and, and the hybrid. We didn't want to lose the face cup technology. The face cup is really what got us to number one in both of those uh, categories, and it is the best ball speed producing face technology that's out there. So we're combining jailbreak and face cup for the very first time in any club. So in terms of the adding the bars, they're steel bars yes. within the head. What is that doing in terms of performance in conjunction with the face cup as you said. Yeah, so like you said, it's a little bit of a different technology because in the driver, they're two titanium bars and they're lighter weight. In the fairway woods, we wanted them heavier, so they're made of steel because we're trying to get that CG more forward. We also had them embedded in what we call our internal standing wave, which is our weight that is low and forward. So that's going to get you less spin with high launch and kind of that trajectory that you really want to see out, out of the fairway. So it is really kind of interesting because it's a, it is jailbreak, but it's a different type of system. In the hybrid, the because of how high the toe is, the bars are different lengths, and they're also made, made of steel. So that is a whole nother technology, different type of jailbreak that is in the, the hybrids. Okay, and in the fairways, we got, as was the case, the Epic, we've got a standard version, we've got a Sub-Zero. Tell us about the differences between those two. Yeah, so the standard version is gonna launch a little bit higher. It's gonna be a little bit easier to hit. We have a ton of different options in the standard. We've got a three plus, a three, a four, a five, a seven, a heaven wood, a nine, and even the 11 wood um, as well. So a ton of different options available in the Sub-Zero. It is a little bit of a better player club, but the footprint of the Sub-Zero this year is very, very close to the standard. So it can be played with a lot of different players. It has a flatter trajectory, a similar trajectory to the Steelhead, which we launched last year with just a, a lot more uh, ball speed. So a ton of different options in the, in the fairway wood lineup. And one thing players will notice with the uh, Sub-Zero is that last year there were two weights, this year just one weight forward. Yeah, just one weight. It's a lightweight, so we can use that for custom fitting. So if you get a fairway wood and it's cut down a quarter inch, we can put a heavier weight. We can do that through custom. We can we can get it dialed in. The weight is there. It's just internal to the head, but that allowed us to make a bigger head, which makes the Sub-Zero this year a lot more forgiving than last year's Epic Sub-Zero model. And the other thing players will notice when compared to Epic is that these are bonded hosel designs, which I know is important from a weighting standpoint to get the performance you were looking for. Yeah, absolutely. So the, the adjustable hosel is great. We found that in the fairway wood, not as many players use that. It does have a weight penalty to it. It's about a seven to nine gram penalty depending on which club it's in. So that nine grams can be redistributed in the head to make a bigger head shape to make it more forgiving. So that's why we went to the fixed hosel with this. And we have two options as well in the hybrid. We've got the standard Rogue and the new uh, Rogue Axe. Rogue Axe as well. So the, the, the standard Standard is kind of a standard footprint. We have a ton of different options. We go up to the six hybrid there. Then the X is like what we're calling a super hybrid, a bigger footprint, stronger lofts, lighter weight shafts um, in that. It's really for the player who wants to hit the hybrid as far as possible. And we go all the way up to the eight hybrid in that, which we're calling the Ocho. So people are going to have some fun with that one. <laughs> That's awesome. Dave, great information. We appreciate it. Good to be with you, Chris. Thanks.